This is the most versatile 3.3 volt regulated power supply because it also has a lithium ion or a lipo battery charger. And after looking at its features, you're gonna be like, wow. And trust me, sooner or later, you're gonna need this 3.3 volt power supply because with the help of this circuit using a 5 volt adapter or a cell phone charger, you can directly power up 3.3 volt compatible controller boards and sensors. And if you want to provide battery backup to your 3.3 volt compatible controllers or sensors, there is no need to worry because you can also use this circuit as a lithium ion or a lipo battery charger. You can charge this battery using a 5 volt power supply or you can even use a small 6 volt solar panel. You can solder the solar panel wires over here and the wires of the lipo battery or lithium ion battery over here. Using this switch, I can turn on off the 3.3 volt power supply. This is a micro USB slot for connecting 5 volts using a USB cable and some headers for 3.3 volt and ground connections. Today, I'm not going to explain how to design this PCB and how to solder these tiny SMD components because I have already made quite detailed videos. You can find links to all the related videos in the description. You should not provide more than 6 volts to this circuit or else this IC will burn out. It's a miniature single cell fully integrated lithium ion or lipo battery charge management controller. As you know, there can be significant fluctuations in voltage due to varying sunlight intensity. So if we use a 12 volt solar panel instead of a 6 volt solar panel, we can fix all the voltage related issues. But the problem is if we connect a 12 volt solar panel, the IC will get damaged and then this circuit won't work at all because as per the data sheet, we can provide the MCP73831 charge controller with more than six volts. So what if we convert the solar panel voltage into regulated five volts, then all worries would vanish. This is a five volt and three amps power supply and it can take input voltages up to 28 volts. So you can safely use this circuit with even large solar panels and with its regulated 5 volts, you can charge the LiPo battery and power up 3.3 volt compatible controller boards and sensors. This 5 volt and 3 amps power supply is one of my favorites and that's why I have also added it to my latest ESP32 development board. Using this power supply, I can power up the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, SIM 7600G 4G LTE module and all the other sensors and breakout boards. So now you can imagine how powerful this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply is. So imagine if we put these two power supplies on the same PCB, we can create an outstanding power supply that provides both 5 volts and 3.3 volts. If you are making your own product and you just want to use its controller, then you will need a 3.3 volt power supply. The Note MCO ESP8266, ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, STM32, etc. All these boards have on board 3.3 volt voltage regulators. So using this circuit, you would not only be able to supply regulated 3.3 volts, but you would also be able to provide battery backup. Anyway, first let's test this 3.3 volt power supply alone, and then we will test it with the 5 volt and 3 amps power supply as well. You can clearly see during this first test, I have not connected any battery, and I'm going to use a cell phone charger to supply 5 volts to the circuit. The output voltage is not bad, it's pretty close to 3.3 volts. Next, I'm going to use this 12 volt adapter, which you can think of as the solar panel, and I'm going to use this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply to supply regular 5 volts to this 3.3 volt power supply. Look at the voltage on the digital multimeter. It's working. So if you're thinking about using a large solar panel with a voltage between 8 to 28 volts, then I highly recommend using my design 5 volts and 3 amps power supply. Next, I'm going to solder the wires of this 3.7 volt 400 mAh lipo battery to the plus and minus contacts and then I'll be back. 
the battery wires have been soldered and right now you can see the output voltage now you can provide battery backup to 3.3 volt compatible controller boards and sensors when the red led is on it means the battery is charging right now i'm charging the battery using my 5 volt and 3 amps power supply and a 12 volt adopter anyways when the battery is fully charged the ld turns off now you must have an idea of how powerful is this 3.3 volt power supply because it not only charges the lithium ion or lipo batteries but also provides battery overcharge protection now let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram first of all you can download the circuit diagram from our website electronicclinic.com you can find a link in the description the circuit has two parts the battery charger and 3.3 volt voltage regulator let's first start with the battery charger over here you can connect a 6 volt solar panel this diode allows the current to flow only in one direction and this is a micro usb port for supplying regular 5 volts using a cell phone charger or any other 5 volt power supply when you connect a 5 volt power supply this diode blocks the voltage this charging circuit is based on the mcp73831 miniature single cell fully integrated lithium ion or lipo battery charge management controller i highly recommend you should read its data sheet as per the data sheet along with the integrated current sense it also provides reverse discharge protection you get four voltage regulation options the charge current is programmable and there are some other features it is used in lithium ion and lipo battery chargers personal data assistance cellular telephones digital cameras, mp3 players, bluetooth headsets, usb chargers and it can be used in thousands of other products. This is the typical application circuit diagram. I have used the same circuit and it works awesome. I'm not going to explain this because it's already explained in the data sheet. The circuit can give you a maximum of 500 milliamps and if you want to increase it up to 800 milliamps then you can use the LTC4054 battery charger. Anyway, with the MCP73831, you can charge a battery up to 1000 mAh. 3.3 volt voltage regulator is based on the MIC5219 500 milliamps peak output LDO regulator. It's an efficient linear voltage regulator with high peak output current capability, very low dropout voltage, and better than 1% output voltage accuracy. For the features, applications, and out, typical circuit diagrams and technical specifications i highly recommend you should read its data sheet anyways this is a protection fuse and a diode that allows the current to flow only in one direction and then we have a bunch of decoupling capacitors and these are female headers for connecting 3.3 volt and ground wires so that's all for now support me on patreon for more videos i hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching